Designing a bottom navigation bar clear and clean is one of the best mobile UX best practice for a WooCommerce store. In this video, I will be designing a custom mobile navigation bar with the menu only available for WooCommerce pages with a block theme like the one you are viewing on the screen. The navigation bar will always stay at the bottom of the screen and will display the clever links you have selected. When the user clicks on a specific item, the visitor can immediately call you to a specific number. You will need a Bloxy Premium license as I will be using a Premium extension. If this interests you, keep watching. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie from Sites with Natalie. If you are new to this channel, I create videos about WordPress websites, helping you to improve your WordPress expertise. The Bloxy Theme Pro Extension Shortcuts Bar enables your visitors to have better user experiences. It is very simple to work with in the Bloxy Theme. The very first step you need to make it is to click on the Bloxy menu tab in your WordPress dashboard and from the Bloxy dashboard make sure you have activated under the Pro extension the shortcuts bar. The next step is to customize according to our own needs. To do that, navigate over to Appearance and then Customizer. Under Extensions, locate the shortcuts bar extension. Under the General tab, you are presented with two possible layout designs. With the first design option, you can display the navigation bar at the bottom by using the full width mode. The second option, you display it as a floating navigation bar. I go with the very first one, just click on it. The shortcuts bar will always stay at the bottom of the screen. Below, you have the shortcuts items you can use. By default, you get these two options, home and phone. In addition, you also get other preset options to add, for example, email, scroll to top, custom card, shop, wish list. You can add all of them into the navigation bar, although I don't recommend with the custom option, you can add your custom link. Let's have a menu in a few minutes. Every element, every element has device visibility you can control. To check them, just click on the drop-down arrow icon. Moreover, you can add an icon to every item or upload your own icon. The icons by default come from the Font Awesome library. Under the Label Visibility section, this section controls the label visibility, meaning you can hide the icon label on a specific device based on desktop, tablet or mobile. The scroll interaction section lets you automatically hide the shortcuts bar when the visitor scrolls down and shows whenever the user scrolls up. This is really handy especially for mobile devices since the available space is limited and you can thus display more vertical content. The two last options let you determine the visibility and the display conditions. Clicking in the display conditions as I need to determine my custom conditions, let's set the display condition. I only want to display the shortcuts bar in my single product page, so let's configure this the right way. Click on Include and then from the drop down under the WooCommerce section select Single Product. I don't need to use further conditions so I delete all of them by clicking on the Close button and save the condition. Under the Design tab is where you can style the items. Colors, fonts, icons can be easily set here. I don't want to change my global settings so everything remains as it is set. Now let's add a menu for the custom item. So select from this drop down custom and click on the plus icon. Let's change the icon. The visibility will be visible to all my devices, desktop, tablets and mobile. 
The container height could be 80 pixels and I want the social interactions to be hidden. As I mentioned before, you are hiding the shortcuts bar as the user scrolls down, but whenever the user scrolls up, it shows up again. The link is is off canvas and uh, under the custom class you need to assign this creative theme class as dot creative theme off canvas trigger which i will leave for you in the description box the visibility is on which means is visible to all my devices let's create now the mobile and the tablet header so head over to customizer Header, we are inside the powerful Bloxy Header Builder. Now click on the tablet and mobile header. And now let's add my elements. All I have to do is to drag to the off canvas area, which is this area, the elements you want to use. It is so simple, just drag and drop to the header. I want to add my cup off canvas logo, my socials, my so I added my off canvas logo, socials, mobile menu, bottom and the HTML elements. To determine the menu you want to use, click on the off canvas area and here you define the side panel or the model mode. For this tutorial I go with the side panel, left side, vertical alignment or an horizontal alignment to center and to determine the menu as i said click on the mobile menu and here select to me is footer menu under the general you choose the interactive collapse collapse in order to expand the sub menu menu items on click or touch It looks pretty good. There are even more features for mobile headers. Navigate to header, then headers. In under the global header, you can enable also the sticky and transparent functionalities. This has modular functionality, meaning you can enable or disable based on the header rows you need. As for me, I don't want to enable for this video tutorial. Moreover, you can enable or disable based on the device you are using. To customize the colors of the off-canvas mobile menu, this is indeed a very common question I get. So, it's pretty simple to solve. To modify the off-canvas menu, open up the header section, then click on this tablet mobile header, so the off canvas area, and under, under the design tab, you determine your options. Let's put here this light blue color. You can also choose a gradient or an image. You can specify the close bottom type to simple border background. I like this one, bordered. And you can also set here the panel shadow, which I like it very much. Now, to add a click to call button, even if you are a small business owner and you already have a phone number for your business, you can enable the click to call to your website. Whenever a WooCommerce visitor taps on the button, they can immediately make, a, make you a business call. Let's do this. So, locate the shortcuts bar extension, expand it, then under the phone item, write down SMS to my column, remove the hashtag, and then enter your phone number. Let's say, just like that. Save the changes, and now let's check on the front end how this looks on any single product page. Refresh. Open the developer options. Here is the mobile menu. This is a single product page. As I scroll down, the navigation bar is hidden. And I scroll up, it shows up. And I click on the phone item, it opens up 
the possibility to the user to make a call. So it looks fantastic. There it is. Whenever a WooCommerce visitor taps on the bottom on the phone icon, they can immediately make a web business call. Okay, that's it. Now you know how to make a shortcuts on mobile with the proxy theme. If you have learned something new and want to support me, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.